up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to ditch that stock LS rev limiter and replace it with something more radical. So for years I've been getting questions about my rev limiter setup. So in today's video, I'm going to run through it with you. A couple weeks ago I took mom out in the Trans Am for some drifting and I noticed I was hearing the stock rev limiter. So after checking everything over, I noticed that it was indeed the MSD two-step acting up, which is understandable because I've been beating on it for like three years now. So I posted a video to Instagram tagging MSD performance in the caption and a few of you guys even mentioned them in the comments so within a few days they sent me out a replacement so let's unbox this thing see what we got here there's a part number if any of you guys are interested So let's get the new one on the car and I'll explain to you guys how it works. All right, so we got the new one installed, all hooked up, zip tied the wires um, so that it's not itching on anything, not itching on the fuel rail, um, any of the fuel lines, <clears throat> coil packs, nothing like that. Luckily, we have the strut tire brace for the wires that run over to the other bank over there. The car already had this little screw, so instead of drilling holes and stuff like that, I figured I could mount it here anyway because there's a tab here and I believe there's one on the bottom and it sits right down in here. Tighten this up, obviously not too tight. So that's all hooked up. Um, then you got the blue wire, which is ground, if you wanna activate the MSD box through a ground. And then you have the white and blue wire, which is acti by, activated by 12 volts. So since I ran a wire through the firewall, through the center console, into a switch, um, I activated it through ground. Most people use this two-step as a launch control, so they activate it through 12 volts wired to their clutch switch. Very easy installation. You mount the box, uh, connect whatever power wire you want, or activation wire rather, either by ground, the blue one, or by 12 volts, white and blue. So then you run the wires over here. Obviously some of these are shorter than the other ones, so that shows you're gonna hook up this bank over here with the shorter wires. So one connector, hooks up to your coil harness, and one connector hooks up to your coil packs. And now you can't get these switched up because the connectors are different and they only go one way. So you hook those up, then you run the other wires over here, hook them up the same way over here, and you're good to go. So a two-step works by cutting fuel and spark or ignition um, to hold a desired RPM. So. Um, the way I have it set, I use it as my main rev limiter and I have it set at 6,000 and so that it's not bouncing off the stock rev limiter or the factory rev limiter which can be harsh on the thrust bearing of the crankshaft due to just the harshness of the rev limiter. So to adjust the rev limiter, you have two adjustability tabs here. So one is by hundreds and one is by thousands. So to set it at like 6,000, you're gonna take your little screwdriver and it clicks. So I'm gonna put it at six, and then I'm gonna put this at zero, and that's 6,000 RPM. The rev limiter is set in my tune at like 6,300. You're gonna want it a little bit, a couple hundreds lower than your factory rev limiter set point. So I put mine at 6,000, which is super safe, you know, since I hit the rev limiter quite often, and uh, that's just how you adjust it. Super simple. Super easy installation, very well put together, very good quality. Even just the length of the wires is, you know, is perfect. It's not a bunch of excess, you know, you might have a little slack here and there just from tying it up, you know, a certain way. There might be a cleaner way, but I just have it, you know, barely tucked behind the strut tire brace, so you can't really see it as much. Looks pretty clean and it works really well. Um, so yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna show you my switch setup. So I ran the wire through the firewall up through there. 
through the dash, through the center console here, and this little ashtray area to this toggle switch with a, a light on it. To get the light to turn on, I ran the wire inside here to the cigarette lighter power circuit so that it receives power to the switch and lights up the light. So it doesn't interfere with the circuitry to the MSD box. So to get power to the switch and to the MSD, to turn the ignition on, I don't know if you'll be able to see the light light up here. It's kind of hard to see since the sun's like that, but the switch is toggled here. Do the ignition. Lights on. Can't really see it. And the light's on on the box. It's hard to tell. So that's how I did it. You guys can do it differently if you wish, but this is how my setup is. All right, so now you guys know how to set up your MSD two-step as your rev limiter. Huge thanks to MSD Performance and Holly Performance for sending me out a replacement. Greatly appreciated. They make quality products and the customer support is amazing. So don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.